This is Bergstrom State Line Quiz Bowl. Now from the Collins Aerospace Studio at the Nordloff Center in downtown Rockford, here's your host, Eric Wilson. Welcome to our final game of March. And if you can't tell, the crowd is hyped up with a couple of whoops as we begin. Last week, you may watch the Low Gang move on. They beat Byron. That means there's only nine teams left in our tournament. After today, there will be eight. So our Elite Eight will be filled. Um, in this game, no matter who wins, we'll have you seeing red. See what I did there? Let's welcome our contestants. First, the Morrison Mustangs. Morrison squeaked one out against Stockton, winning by just one question. A win today is their first trip back to round three since season six. And that was when you went all the way to the finale. It'd be pretty sweet for a repeat. Heads nodding all around over there on the Morrison team. Zayden's the captain. Introduce us to your starting lineup. To my far right is Nara. To my near right is Rowan. And to my left is Mark. Good luck, Morrison Mustangs up against the Oregon Hawks. I was a little nervous, Lexi, because I strategically paused for applause. And did you hear how long it took for your fans to get the clue? Definitely. It was time to clap. <laughs> Hawks topped Harlem 200 to 110. They made it to round two that way. If they can duplicate that effort, they're in round three for the first time since season one. It's been quite a long time. Lexi, maybe this is the year. Introduce us to who you brought with you to make that happen. Um, we have, for our starting lineup, we have Ryan on my right. We have Aaron on my far left and Virginia on my near left. Welcome to the Oregon Hawks as well. And in the history of our tournament, this is the first time that these two teams have faced each other. So who knows what will happen based on past history. This could be a close one. Let's get into it with our buzzing round and the first question of the day. Hands on your buzzers. Remember, wait for me to say your name before you give me an answer and then say that answer loudly and clearly. You ready, contestants? All the way down the line. Looks, look, everybody looks good. Here we go. What Hall of Fame pitcher holds MLB's all-time career record for strikeouts? and threw a record seven no-hitters. Ryan. Cy Young. Incorrect. Morrison. This is going to kill you, Ryan. I almost gave away the answer when I called on you because this is Ryan. In fact, Nolan Ryan is the answer that we needed. Okay, we, got our, we got our sports question out of the way. Half the, half the teammates up here are shaking their heads. It's good we got the sports out of the way now. Let's move on to something else. What three-word Latin phrase which follows Casca's line, speak hands for me, is said by Julius Caesar after being stabbed? And Ryan. Et tu brut? We'll take that. And you speak brutus me. is what it says. Et tu brute, et tu brut. Um, and you've got that. Those are the first points of the game, and they go to Oregon. New question. Which president created the Federal Trade Commission and signed the Clayton Antitrust Act as part of his new freedom agenda? Ryan. Roosevelt. Incorrect. Morrison. Zayden. Truman. Incorrect. Uh, maybe you might have convinced it with the New Deal. The New Freedom was actually introduced by Woodrow Wilson. What town, home to the McLean House, is where a union encirclement of the Army of Northern Virginia in April 1865 forced Robert E. Lee? Ryan. Apatomox. Incorrect. Morrison? I'll, let me finish it for you. Force Robert E. Lee to surrender. You flip flop some letters in there and I couldn't give it to you. It was Appomattox. New question. What composer created a bel canto mad scene in which the title character stabs her new husband, Arturo, in this composer's opera, Lucio di Lamarmore. Lexi. Verdi. Incorrect. Morrison. That was a tough music question. Gaetano Donizetti. What country is the setting of Sugar Street? Palace of Desire, and Palace Walk, which comprise Arabic-language author Naguib Mahfouz's Cairo trilogy. Ryan. Egypt. That's right. Cairo was probably a good clue there. Oregon's got ten more. What American film director is noted for his eccentric films, including The French Dispatch, The Grand Budapest Hotel, and The Royal Tenenbaums? Lexi. Kubrick. Incorrect. 
Morrison, you have a chance for these points. It'll put you on the board. Go ahead, Nara. Martin Scorsese. <laughs> Incorrect. But it's worth an answer. We needed Wes Anderson. What number is avoided in many East Asian countries and is feared by those with Ryan? Four. That's right. You didn't even need tetraphobia. In 1973, American Indian activists occupied what South Dakota town where more than 250 indigenous women and children were killed by the U.S. Army in 1890. Ryan. Little Bighorn. Incorrect. Morrison, this will put you on the board. That was Wounded Knee. What Belarusian-born Jewish artist painted the white crucifixion and green violinist, which may have inspired the title of Fiddler on the Roof? The artist is Chagall, Mark Chagall. What city contains the headquarters of Mazda, is home to the Jan Letzel-designed Gabaku Dome, and was the first city targeted with an atomic bomb? Ryan. Hiroshima. That is correct. Three days later, Nagasaki became the second city. What character drives to Waterbury and imagines piloting a Navy hydroplane in a 1939 James Thurber short story whose title refers to his secret life? Lexi. Smith. Incorrect. Morrison. That was Walter Mitty. The Secret Life of Walter Mitty was the name of the whole novel. Um, it actually turned into a 2013 film with Ben Stiller and Kristen Wiig. We have to end the round on that. We're out of time. 40 points is where Oregon sits. Morrison's not on the board yet, but we've got a lot of game to play left, including our volleyball round, which is next. Our final seat in the Elite Eight is on the line between these two teams, and here's where we sit score-wise. Oregon has 40. Morrison isn't on the board yet, but we've got a lot of game to play. We'll get into the volleyball in just a second, but first, a very special thank you to our judge today, Ken DeCoster. He is a Rockford Register Star reporter, but a longtime Rockford journalist in television and radio and print, stage, screen, you name it. But more importantly, just um, an all-around great guy who I am privileged to call my friend. So thanks, thanks for being here, Ken. Let's get to our volleyball round. Contestants, work as a team on this round, but the answers have to come from the captains. Oregon, you're getting our first question this week. Abby, are you ready? Yep. Here we go. What mainland Greek civilization from the late Bronze Age included Tyrans, Pylos, and a city where Heinrich Schliemann found the mask of Agamemnon? Byzantium. Incorrect. The Mycenaeans. Over to Morrison now for your first question of the round. What property which Young's equation relates to the contact angles of a fluid is lowered by surfactants and allows some insects to walk on water? Surface tension. Surface tension is right. Rowan, I'm going to give you credit for that one. You knew it relatively quickly. And those are Morrison's first points of the round. Back to Oregon. What Russian composer's 15 symphonies include the Leningrad, his seventh, and Bobby Yar, his 13th? Tchaikovsky. Incorrect, but you might as well answer. There's nothing else on the line there. Shostakovich, that is a tough music history question. Back over to Morrison. What structure, just south of which the Vindolanda letters were found, was begun in AD 122 by its namesake emperor to defend against northern Britons? The emperor was Hadrian. It's known as Hadrian's Wall. Back over to Oregon. What poet laureate of the UK wrote the 1998 collection Birthday Letters, which contains verses about his troubled marriage to Sylvia Plath? Silverstein. Incorrect. Hughes. He was actually poet laureate for roughly 14 years. Ted Hughes. Back to Morrison. What country's president, Ibrahim Raisi, who in 2021 succeeded Hassan Rouhani, is a close ally of Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei, who governs from Tehran. Tehran is the capital of Iran. We needed Iran for the answer. Back to Oregon. In June 2022, Togo and Gabon were admitted to what organization consisting of former members of the British Empire? Uh, 
According to the BBC, nearly a third of the world's population lives in this group, in these member countries. That's the Commonwealth, or British Commonwealth. Back to Morrison. What events with an ictal phase have absence, tonic, and myelonic, myoclonic varieties are detected by EEG and happen repeatedly in uncontrolled epilepsy? Seizures. Seizures is correct. Or again, Rowan, I'm giving you credit for that one. Morrison's got 10 more. Back to Oregon. What century names a crisis in which the Gallic and Palmyrene empires seceded from the Roman Empire until they were reconquered by Emperor Aurelian? The fifth century. Incorrect, third. We needed the third century. It's known as the crisis of the third century. And that's how we end the round. Morrison, close the gap a little bit. It's now 40 to 20, halfway through our game. Our Nika IBEW lightning round has a lot of points available. And if you run a category, it will change your score by 100. We'll see if our contestants can do that. But first, you get to play at home with the Bergstrom bonus question, and we'll be back with the answer. In July 2021, which YouTuber turned WWE superstar set a Guinness World Record after purchasing a PSA Grade 10 Pikachu Illustrator card for more than $5 million? Relatively low scoring game halfway through, but that volleyball round was kind of tough. Oregon is on top right now with 40 points. Morrison has 20. This question is not worth points, but pizza and pasta from Lino's. If you know the answer, buzz in after I read the question. Here we go. In July 2021, which YouTuber turned WWE superstar set a Guinness World Record after purchasing a PSA grade 10 Rowan? Logan Paul. That's right, a <laughs> Pikachu Illustrator card. You know how much he paid for that card? Anybody want to sta like make a stab at that? Million. Five million dollars. Was it? Yeah. Five million dollars. It was a Charmander. Yeah, if you're keeping track, of course. Well, hey, Char I guess if I had known it was Charmander at first, that would be a little bit less uh, outrageous, right? For the record, most expensive Pokemon trading cards sold at a private sale. And not only is that weird, but it's also weird that somebody like Logan Paul has five million dollars to spend on a Pokemon card. But that's worth a whole nother half hour discussion. Discuss for the next two minutes during this break, and then we'll come back. Not with the answer to that debate, but we'll have our Nika IBEW lightning round. I don't know about you, but we spent the last two and a half minutes here debating why in the world Logan Paul has $5 million to spend on a Pokemon card. I don't know. What does that say about the planet? Let's move on and change subjects to our Nika IBEW lightning round, where there are lots of points on the line here. We have a tight game. Oregon has 40, Morrison has 20, and Morrison is going first in this round. So, Zayden, the three categories you have to choose from this week are ballet, people with state names, and yellow. Ballet. All right. If you've ever participated in Rockford Dance Company, this is the category you've been waiting your whole life for. No, no, maybe. Um, give these answers related to classical ballet. That's it. You have 60 seconds, Zayden, to go through these. Uh, whatever you don't get to or you get wrong or pass on, uh, Ryan, you'll have 30 seconds. You and the team will have 30 seconds to get those points that are left. And advice to both teams, you can pass. So don't let the clock run on you while you're stuck on one. If you're not sure, pass. We can come back to it if there's time left at the end. Zayden, are you ready for the first one in ballet? Yes. Give these answers related to classical ballet. Gauzy skirt worn by ballerinas. 2-2. Two, two. Correct. Popular Tchaikovsky ballet set at Christmas. The Nutcracker. Correct. Five-letter Italian word for a company's leading ballerina. Prima. Correct. A twirl in place on one foot. Pirouette. Correct. Home country of the Bolshoi ballet. Pass. French word for step, which appears in many dance terms. Pop. Say that again. Pa. Correct. Technique of dancing on tiptoe. Releve. Incorrect. A bend at the knees with the body held erect. Plie. Correct. Rail that dancers hold while performing warm-ups. Bar. Correct. Black woman who became principal dancer at the American Ballet Theater in 2015. Pass. Home country, no time to go back to that other one that you passed on. That is a solid lightning round there. There are only three left. 
for Oregon to get to, right? One, two, three, yep. Um, and you'll have 30 seconds for them, Ryan. Take all the time you need or answer and we can move on. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Ballet is the category. Give these answers related to classical ballet. Home country of the Bolshoi. Russia. Say that again. Russia. Correct. Technique of dancing on tiptoe. On point. Correct. Black woman who became principal dancer at the American Ballet Theater in 2015. Smith. Incorrect. We'll stop the clock there. Misty Copeland was that last one, the only one no one got. Now, Morrison is in the lead by 30 points, but you run this category, Ryan, and you'll bump your score by 100. There's two left. People with state names or yellow. Let's go state names, why not? Why not, sure. Name these people whose first or last name is also the name of a U.S. state. Same rules apply, 60 seconds for you, 30 seconds for Morrison. Remember that pass option. Are you ready for the first one? Yes. Name these people whose first or last name is also the name of a U.S. state. Author of the story, Rip Van Winkle. New York. Incorrect. Whip-wielding archaeologist, played by Harrison Ford. Indiana Jones. That's correct. Author of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Tennessee Williams. Correct. Alter ego of Disney Channel character Miley Stewart. Hannah Montana. Correct. Author of A Room of One's Own and To the Lighthouse. Pass. Painter of Skulls and Flowers who wed Alfred Stieglitz. Pass. Elite pool player from the novel The Hustler. Pass. Boarding school student who titles John Green's first novel. Pass. Top hat wearing frog created by Warner Brothers. Pass. James Spader's character on The Office. Pass. Author of A Room of One's Own and To the Lighthouse. That's our time. You tied it up. We're at 90 yeah. to 90. So there's seven left for you, Zayden. Only 30 seconds for them. If you've been paying attention, you may be able to go through this quickly, and I'll read as fast as I can to get as many in, in this time as we've got. Are you ready? Yes. Name these people whose first or last name is also the name of a U.S. state. Author of the story, Rip Van Winkle. Tennessee. Incorrect. Author of A Room of One's Own and To the Lighthouse. Pass. Painter of Skulls and Flowers who wed Alfred Stieglitz. Pass. Elite pool player from the novel The Hustler. Pass. Boarding school student who titles John Green's first novel. Alaska. Correct. Top hat wearing frog created by Warner Brothers. Pass. James Spader's character on The Office. Robert California. I'll give you that right at the buzzer. You got that two more added to your score. So now you are in the lead 110 to 90. That was a pretty solid lightning round. I'll go over the ones that no one got. That first one, the Rip Van Winkle author is Washington Irving. The author of A Room of One's Own to the Lighthouse is Virginia Woolf. The painter of Skulls and Flowers was Georgia O'Keeffe. The elite pool player from the novel The Hustler, played by Jackie Gleason in a 1961 film that's Minnesota Fats. The top hat wearing frog created by Warner Brothers. Hello, my baby. Hello, my honey. Nobody remembers that cartoon, right? That's Michigan J. Frog. John Luke shook his head very vigorously. He didn't remember that. I um, mean, that's the only, one, the only four that we need. Your parents knew that one. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. Your parents knew that one. Um, and that's all that we didn't get to, the five that were left, right? Let's move on now to our final challenge after this break. We've got a tight game here. In fact, um, there's only 20 points between our teams, and that's just one question in our next round. We'll see what happens after this break. We have another super close second round game here. In fact, this is for the final seat in our Elite Eight. Who will it be? Who knows? Scores are super close. Morrison has 110. Oregon has 90. Final challenge is a buzz in round. Same rules as round one other than a point change. So now instead of 10 points per question, it's 20. Same rules apply to the two most important ones anyway. Wait for me to call your name before you give me the answer. And then say that answer loudly and clearly, especially when we're this close. Hands on your buzzers. Everybody take a deep breath. Good luck, teams. Here we go. What office building in Foggy Bottom was the site of a 1972 burglary of the Democratic National Committee, which led to Zayden? Watergate. That's right. Led to Richard Nixon's resignation. 
What short story by Frank Stockton is named after the two possible fates that await accused criminals behind one of two doors? Abby. Crime and punishment. Incorrect. Morrison, you can take these points. It's a great short story with a cliffhanger ending. The Lady or the Tiger? What country is home to the record label Big Hit Music, which employs Tomorrow by Together and a septet behind the hits Boy With Love and Butter? Rowan. South Korea. That is right. In September 2022, Laxman Narishmahan was named the new CEO of what company based in Seattle, replacing Ryan? Boeing. Incorrect. I'll finish for Morrison. Replacing its interim CEO, Howard Schultz. Starbucks. Rowan. Starbucks is correct. Seattle may have helped. In 1888, what country during the reign of Pedro II became the final country in the Western world to abolish slavery? Ryan. Brazil. That is right. Right before the buzzer. You got it. Nice, Ryan. What author of the verse novel Aurora Lee wrote a collection of 44 sonnets from the Portuguese, including How Do I Love Thee? Let Me Count the Ways. Lexi. Hemingway. Incorrect. Morrison, these could be your points. Browning. Elizabeth Barrett Browning. The city of Istanbul is divided in two by what strait that is the southern... Ryan. The Bosporus? That's right. Southern outlet of the Black Sea. In what state did tests of sewage in Nassau County reveal polio, prompting Kathy Hochul to declare a state of emergency that included Long Island? Ryan. New York. That's right. Kathy Hochul's New York's governor. What American chemist who announced the discovery of new elements on a radio quiz show in 1945 helped discover plutonium? Ryan. Oppenheimer? Incorrect. Morrison, do you have an answer? You have five seconds. Go ahead, Nara. Curie. Incorrect. Seaborg. Glenn Seaborg. Lisa McGee created what British TV show set in the 1990s, which centers on a group of students at a Catholic school in the title Northern Irish City? Abby. Dublin. Incorrect. Morrison? Go ahead. Glasgow. Zayden, sorry. Uh, no, Dairy Girls. The genetic model fish Dania Ririo is named after what African mammal that employs disruptive coloration through its black and white stripes? Zayden. Zebra. That is correct. And that is how we end the round. Morrison's 20 points puts them up to 190, also puts them in the Elite Eight. Congratulations, you earn that final seat. I'm um, Oregon. Sorry to see you go. Uh, there's still some half smiles there, right? <laughs> I hope you had fun playing the game. Of um, you played a very amazing game, and we all know, too, especially this late in the game, the rounds aren't always this close. So you played a great game. How many of you are seniors? Oh, so Ryan and Lexi, you're both out. Yep. Will you come back and visit us anytime, all right? <laughs> Thank you. Cool. We'll sneak Good luck them on with uh, what you do. And <laughs> Abby and Emily will see you and the rest of the team next year, right? Because yep. you got quite a few people in and out today. So um, hopefully that helps and it gave you, some, gave you some experience you can bring to next season. Um, and Zayden, you and the team, I mentioned you're moving on. You will play Christian Life in the next round. We will see you next week. Uh, you can join us when we begin that Elite Eight round. Join us then. Mm -hmm.